Welcome back to ETV. Hey, this weekend at the box office, we've got silly comedies, sports dramas, and end-of-the-world thrillers. Seems like Hollywood's got a little something for everybody. With the details, here's Sean McBride, the movie guy. There's this big tournament. Top 16 middleweights in the world. And that takes all. I'm gonna need a trainer. Of that much you work with. Three films stumble into the ring this weekend, including the sports drama Warrior, the tale of two brothers training for their shot at a big mixed martial arts tournament. This is impossible! The two men fighting for the championship tonight are brothers! Warrior doesn't have huge aspirations, but it is a pretty good family drama, coupled with a rousing sports flick. Certainly, MMA fans will be pleased. I'm gonna go to California, and I'm gonna be a star on the silver screen. I'm the son of two movie stars. That's like a... Super, super movie star! Bucky Lawson, born to be a star, is the story of a naive simpleton who finds out that his parents did some adult movies, so he decides to join the porn industry. Uh, next. Are you sick? No, 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 no. I, they, uh, this is all just, you know, a precaution. You know, just making sure. This week's high-profile release is Contagion, the film that asks what would happen if a pandemic virus struck humanity. With its all-star cast and super serious subject matter, if nothing else, Contagion will certainly make you think about how fragile our society really is. Is there any way someone could weaponize the bird flu? Is that what we're looking at? Someone doesn't have to weaponize the bird flu. The birds are doing that. And that's what's new in the movies this week. I'm Sean McBride, the movie guy for ETV. And to fill us in on all the cool movies, tell us more, Sean McBride, the movie guy. Hey, so, yeah, you know, uh, three movies, sort of something for everyone this week, but it's September, so sort of something that's kind of mediocre for yeah. everyone this week. There's no real slam dunks, but quite frankly, with the exception of the comedy, which we're not even talking about, uh, <laughs> a piece of junk, but the rest of them, they're, you know, they're okay. So, Contagion with that all-star cast, yeah. and serious subject matter, uh, you know, if you're a fan of dramas, and this one's sort of an apocalyptic drama, you know, I mean, you, you probably want to check that out. And then Warrior, which is a bit of a surprise to me. Uh, this is this is a sports movie meets a family drama, and I honestly thought it was it was quite enjoyable. Okay, uh, you know, it's MMA, which we haven't really seen yeah. that done in the movies much yet, but. Uh, uh, you know, m &A. So, so if you're a fan of MMA, then you'll get your blood boiling in the, you know, watching the scenes. And then, obviously, the family drama stuff is pretty good as well. Well, it's pretty topical. So, very cool. And what's coming up at the flicks? Uh, two new films over there. Uh, the First Beautiful Thing, an Italian comedy. Uh, it's kind of a fun thing. But The Whistleblower, Rachel Weiss, and the, the story of a, um, a Nebraska police officer who becomes a UN peacekeeper in Yugoslavia. Um, yeah, two new films here. But I think the real things to talk about over the flicks. We have some cool screenings coming yeah, up, huh? Some special screenings. Uh, the first one is going to be A Midsummer Night's Dream. Uh, that's Pacific Northwest Ballet is putting that on. It's the final uh, film in the Cinema Meets Culture series. That is Sunday, 2.30 at the Flicks, and tickets are $9. And then uh, another one that we're really excited about, The Big Uneasy, a documentary by Harry Shearer. You know Harry Shearer from The Simpsons. Mm -hmm. He's kind of that. Uh, that's Monday, the 12th, 7.30 at the Flicks. Uh, after the film, there will be a Q&A with Harry Shearer. And tickets for that one are $12. And he's actually going to be here for that. He's actually going to be there for a Q&A. Awesome. And what have we got for DVDs? Right, some pretty good stuff this week. We have X-Men First Class, which I think was probably one of the better of the summer superhero movies. Oh, nice. And we also have Hannah, which I think is a, is a very good little film. Uh, Shirsha Ronan, who is the young girl who's in Atonement, if you saw that film. Mm -hmm. She plays this assassin. And... Uh, well, I just thought it was a pretty good little action thriller. Nice. And then also Everything Must Go with Will Ferrell. So some good options on home DVD. Good deal. Now I heard local theater is just buzzing right now. Yeah, I mean, Tara talked a little bit about it earlier, but there is something on every stage but one at this wow. point. So something for everyone. So let's get right into it. Um, Refraction, which Tara already spoke about. That mm -hmm. is the world premiere by Dwayne Glacal. Um, Boise Contemporary Theater. You can get tickets and information at bctheater.org or call 331-9224. Uh, rumors. This is uh, over at Boise Little Theater. That is uh, this weekend and next weekend. And uh, Rumors is a Neil Simon play. And uh, if you went last weekend, you saw one of the actors who she got proposed to right after the play. So, oh, that's cool. That's very cool. So congratulations, Allison. Um, anyway, she, or she's going to be Mrs. <laughs> <laughs> Ramirez in a minute. So uh, anyway, Rumors, uh, two more weekends over at Boise Little Theater, 100 East uh, Fort Street in Boise. Uh, Ticks and information, 342-5104. Or go to boiselittletheater.org. Uh, the Foreigner, final weekend over at Stagecoach Theater. Uh, great comedy, and that is uh, 342 2000, or go to stagecoachtheater.com, and that's Stagecoach Theater, theater spelled with an R E. 
Uh, the Learn Me Project, which Tara also spoke about a little bit, ten years later, a great, uh, a great little drama. Basically, it's the Matthew Shepard story, but ten years later. So, how did the town react to, you know, the killing of Matthew Shepard? Um, just great stuff. It's produced by Daisy's Madhouse Theatre. Weekends for this weekend and next. Idaho Outdoor Association is their temporary home for that, so go to 3401 Brazil Street in Boise. Uh, tickets at 995-0088 or go to daisiesnighthouse.org. And finally, over the Idaho Shakespeare Festival, who has had a great summer, mm -hmm. uh, they have the 39 Steps. Um, y you've seen this probably from uh, the Hitchcock movie, yeah. but uh, this, is a, this is a play I saw on Broadway. Just, uh, just really quite enjoyed it. It's one of those that I only went because there was a Barker in Times Square that said, hey, we'll see this. And I said, okay, why not? And it, I'm very glad I did. Oh, it's great. But it's the final show of the Idaho Shakespeare Festival. Uh, runs through the 25th. Tickets at 336-9221. Well, there's definitely no shortage of entertainment going on this week. Something for everyone. And plus, you know, we just uh, we finished Music Man last weekend, so, you know... Everybody... And you had a role in there, right? I did. Uh, Nicely done. We, we loved uh, Music Man. It was a lot of fun over at the Nam Pacific Center, so something for everybody. And uh, lots of theater. you got to love the Treasure Valley. They do like their theater. I think it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks so much, Sean. We really appreciate it. Well, stick around. Football Week continues right here on ETV.